Madison College was established in 1904 under the direction and instruction of Ellen White. God directed them to a piece of property there that they really didn't even want to have because it was rocky and the fences were broken down and the equipment was rusty. Somehow God has this sense of humor. He takes the things that look like they can be used for nothing and he makes something out of them. And I think that's what he wanted to do at Madison because he wanted to show if you can do mission work here, you can do it anywhere. It was not beautiful when they went there, but it was beautiful because of what it produced. Young people who knew how to go out and earn a living with their own hands and share the gospel at the same time. At Madison College, one of the things that was evident from the beginning is that they had to earn their own way. They sold eggs. They milked the cows and made butter. They farmed the land and whatever they had that they had grown, that's what they ate. Because they knew it had to be self-sustaining. If they were going to teach self-supporting, they had to do self-supporting. It was the template for the program that the self-supporting institutions, including Harvard Hills, have adopted. At Harvard Hills Academy, the institution has several major components. We have the educational work, and the educational work, we believe, should include practical hands-on training. Therefore, the industries that we also have. Harvard Hills Academy owns a 49-bed nursing home. That 49-bed nursing home is a fully licensed and accredited facility in the state of Tennessee to provide care for senior citizens who need more care than they can receive at home. And outside of the nursing home, we have Harvard Hill Bread of Life Bakery, where we bake breads and cookies for both the school and the nursing home, and students are involved in that work. And then we have a pretty extensive agriculture program. Uh, we're building greenhouses as we speak and, and growing vegetables year round. And so students are involved in all of these industries that we have on school. These are the ministries that help support the school. We also have a radio station on campus. It's really an outreach to our community, but it's also a training tool to help young people. In addition to the practical training through the industries, we have vocational classes in auto mechanics, and woodworking, and digital photography, and medical missionary, and food service teaching them these vital skills that they need for everyday life. It's an opportunity for young people to learn how to serve other people, how to be responsible, how to be punctual, how to be dependable, how to be good at their job, and how to be a service to mankind. I grew up in a public sector where it's all academic. I did not have a problem with getting A, man, book work easy, but when I went to college and I had to apply that to other things I could not do. It was hard for me because that practical application was missing. Here at Harvard Hills, we teach the practical application along with the academic, how it can reach one so your mind can reach the highest standard. So our goal is that our students, whether they go in the mission field or whether they continue on to higher education, is that they will be rooted and grounded and close enough to the Lord that they will be able to sustain and survive. And this school is equipping them that whichever direction, based on their passion of what they would like to do, when God calls them, they are fit with the tool. The Spirit of Prophecy talks about an army of young people who have been rightly trained. If we're ever going to have an army of young people rightly trained, we're going to have to have institutions that are training rightly. Not only are we training students stateside, to go out and spread this message and uh, carry it along with them. But now we're sending students all over the world. Uh, we have students here from uh, probably 16 different countries. I believe that God has a plan for the work of education around the world. And it is to establish schools like Harvard Hills Academy in every country of the world.